Hi everybody, we are starting with trigonometry for ICSC 10th and I will explain you the whole chapter. Then we will move on to the important questions that are the expected questions in your board examination. I will cover the previous year questions also. Start with the trigonometric ratios. You can see there is this uh, right angle triangle. This is 90 degree and uh, this is theta. Now in this triangle, uh, this side which is in front of theta is called the perpendicular, right? This side is uh, your hypotenuse. This is the longest side of the triangle. And this is the base, okay? And this is the perpendicular. These are the ebooks that I have launched and if you want to purchase it, the link is in the description box. I have also attached the samples. If you want to go through these ebooks, you want to know what features are there in this ebook. Full syllabus mathematics ebook, computer ebook, English language ebook and then all reactions ebook are available. And the prices are very affordable. I have made uh, these ebooks so that it assists you in your second semester board preparation. You all go for expensive tuitions uh, to complete the full syllabus, but in 50 to 100 rupees range, you are getting uh, all these notes. Now uh, I will start writing the ratio of sides of right angle triangle with respect to its acute angle. And uh, you know the meaning of acute angle that is less than 90 degree. For this sine theta will be P by H, that is perpendicular by hypotenuse and uh, before that I will tell you a trick to learn all these ratios. Some people have curly brown hair through proper brushing. S is sine, so uh, this will be P by H. And then C is cos theta, this will be B by H. And then we have tan theta, which is P by B. You have to note down the initials, right? So this is how you can learn. You might have different methods to learn uh, the trigonometric ratios you can also comment if i find out uh, something very easy then i'll pin it now for cosec theta it is h by p that is the reciprocal of sine theta and for sec theta it is the reciprocal of cos theta that is h by b for cot theta it will be b by p okay that means sin theta is reciprocal of cosec theta, cos theta is uh, reciprocal of sec theta and tan theta is reciprocal of cot theta. There are some question relations that are important while uh, substituting and proving questions. That is tan theta is equal to sin theta by cos theta. And cot theta is equal to cos theta by sin theta. And yes, uh, here I have taken theta as an acute angle. It may be A or B or C, whatever is given in the question, okay? So they may write A is acute angle, then you have to write the formula accordingly. Now I'll tell you the values of trigonometric ratios for some specific angles. Angles and then um, the degrees. 0 degree, 30 degree. 45 degree and you have to learn this table. I will tell you the trick again. And then 90 degree. You have to only learn uh, the degrees for sine and then you can do all for uh, other angles. There is this trick. Write 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Divide it by 4. Take the under root 
of oil okay what are you getting you are getting 0 then 1 by 2 then it is 1 by root 2 then this is root 3 by 2 and this is 1 so I'll just write it neatly 0 1 by 2 1 by root 2 root 3 by 2 and then 1 now for cos you have to write uh, in the reverse order that means 1 then you will take root 3 by 2 then 1 by root 2 1 by 2 and then 0 for tan you have to write see we have done this tan theta is sin theta by cos theta 0 by 1 is 0 1 by 2 divided by root 3 by 2 will be 1 by root 3 then this is 1 this is root 3 and this is not defined that is infinity okay see 0 by 1 is 0 but 1 by 0 is infinity moving on to other trigonometric uh, ratios cosec theta this is the reciprocal of sin theta so uh, 1 by 0 is infinity 1 divided by 1 by 2 that will be 2 then root 2 2 by root 3 and then 1 see sin theta is 1 by cosec theta you have to just write the reciprocal of uh, sin theta then sec theta again reciprocal of cos and uh, cot theta reciprocal of tan. I will write it. So this is how you have to write the trigonometric ratios. So we are discussing acute angle. You might be thinking why are we saying that 0, uh, that theta is in between 0 and 90 degrees. Because in this uh, quadrant, all your trigonometric ratios are positive. When you will go to class 11th, if you are taking mathematics, then you will come to know that uh, these trigonometric ratios have different signs in other quadrants. Like if they are lying between 90 to 180 degree or 180 to 270. You don't have to discuss this uh, in this class. Okay, we are starting with uh, trigonometric identities. First is sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. Okay, conditions are applied. That is, uh, theta is in between 0 and 90 degree. Then second is, 1 plus tan square theta, that's equal to sec square theta. Third, 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosec square theta. Fourth, 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta. Oh, I have repeated this. And listen, you will not get the proofs of uh, these trigonometric identities. They will not ask you to prove sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. However, if you want um, to study this, you want to know the proof, then you can simply write like sin theta is p by h and cos theta is b by h. When you will uh, add the squares of both these, you will get one as answer. Now we'll start with some important questions. And I'll be including uh, previous year questions because they are repeated every year. Yes, I'm also going to tell you a trick by uh, which you can prove any questions. Sometimes you are not able to prove a left hand side equal to right hand side. But I will tell you how you can do that. So this is uh, question 1. And this came in 2020 board examination. You can try this out. Now in left hand side uh, you can see there are these uh, ratios of sine A, cos A, cot A and tan. Right, this is left hand side and this is right hand side. You have to prove that LHS is equal to RHS. We will be starting from left hand side. 
you have to um, note this down. Whatever is in the right hand side is to be proved. And that's only possible when you get those trigonometric ratios. So I'll repl uh, replace cot A with cos A by sin A and tan A with sin A by cos A because I have seen the elements on right hand side are sin A and cos A. So it's better to uh, like change them into those ratios. Sin A divided by 1 plus cos A by sin A minus cos A divided by 1 plus sin A by cos A. sin A by sin A taking the LCM cos A divided by sin A minus cos A then cos A plus sin A divided by cos A. Now when we uh, divide it we will get sin square a divided by sin a plus cos a minus cos square a divided by sin a plus cos a. The denominator is same. In sin square a minus cos square a divided by sin a plus cos a. Now in the numerator you can see this is of the form a square minus b square and we can expand it as a plus b into a minus b right. So I will do the same here in the numerator part this will be sin a plus cos a into sin a minus cos a and divided by sin a plus cos a. I will cancel this sin a minus cos a. This is RHS. Hence proved. Right? LHS is equal to RHS. Hence proved. Now question number 2. And yes, if you are unable to prove something, then uh, what you can do is Suppose you are solving left hand side, okay, and uh, you are not getting right hand side. So you start solving right hand side also. There will be um, an equation where you will find out that both these equations are same. And then you can reverse the order of RHS here and start proving, okay. So I will start with left hand side. I will multiply and divide by 1 minus cos a. So I am rationalizing this. Sin a multiply 1 minus cos a divided by 1 minus cos square a. After this, sin a into 1 minus cos a divided by sin square a sin a and they cancel 1 minus cos a divided by sin a i can separate this by writing 1 divided by sin a minus cos a divided by sin a so you will get cos a k minus cot a right hand side okay LHS is equal to RHS. Left hand side, I will be expanding this 1 plus tan square a plus 2 tan a plus 1 plus tan square a minus 2 tan a and uh, you will get 2 plus 2 tan square a. This is again a board question. Taking 2 common you will get 
2 into 1 plus tan square, sorry for the background noise, there is some construction going inside of EG. So this will be 2 sec square A, okay, right hand side. I want you guys to try out this question and uh, then play the video. If anybody could solve it, please comment. Congratulations, you could solve this question. I know it, it's simple, but sometimes uh, majority of students can't solve such simple questions. Solution. Now for sec square theta, I'll write 1 plus tan square theta. And for cosec square theta, I'll write 1 plus cot square theta. If I look at this carefully, I can make uh, out tan theta plus cot theta whole square. But for that, uh, you need something else. Like, uh, you need 2 tan theta cot theta, right? See, this is tan square theta plus cot square theta plus 2. And if you write tan theta cot theta here, it will make no difference. Since uh, tan theta into cot theta is equal to 1, right? Tan theta is the reciprocal of cot theta. So when you put this here, you will get 1. It doesn't make any difference if we add on uh, tan theta cot theta here. This is the formula of tan theta plus cot theta whole square. That means it will be tan theta plus cot theta. Okay. Prove that 2 cos square theta plus 2 divided by 1 plus cot square theta is equal to 2. So, uh, let's try this out. 1 plus cot square theta is cos x square theta. And uh, the reciprocal will be 2 sin square theta. Taking uh, 2 common, you will get cos square theta plus sin square theta. Look how simple was this. 2 multiply. This is 1. Answer is 1. Right answer. Now these are some DIY questions which you can solve. In case you are not able to solve them, then you can uh, comment. I will be uploading uh, a new video in which I will be solving these questions. And yes, uh, it's not important that you always start your solution from left hand side. You may uh, start from right hand side and then prove it equal to left hand side. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day. Bye.